Okay, we are getting out. We are going inside a mall in Louisville. Yes, you've probably seen many videos already of like this is like the second or third. Whoops, there goes my car key. Good thing I didn't drop it in there. Oh my fuck. Anyways. Great, now I'm gonna get demonetized as if I had ads before. Anyways. So we we're going into this mall that I just happened to actually stumble across. Never even heard of it. Never did any research on it or anything. Never heard a word about it. Never knew it existed until I went past it on my way to a location. A location meeting. Music City Mall. How you doing? Hold on. <laughs> I've never seen a sign anything like this. Be advised bird control measure in effect. Flashing lights, starter pistols, air horns, exploding aerial flares, and spotlights. Holy crap. <laughs> that sign looks like it's been there, but look at this. I mean, the entrance itself. The teal, I just love that color. That gives me like a 90s kind of kind of vibe. And if it's a 90s kind of vibe inside, oh, I can't wait to see. No smoking beyond this point. Let's see. I can't wait. Thousand dollar shopping spree. Holy crap, golden ticket. Wow. Let's see. So we're on the second floor. Okay, this is fairly lively. This looks nice. Very 90s esque. A little bit of industrial. Oh boy. Fake plants. the decor in here is just fantastic. It's almost as if it's almost it's almost as if they left the this is one thing I've always wanted to see an action not the candy not the candy this is actually fresh it looks fresh for it needs to be refilled well i've seen better okay oh yeah these are the 1928 originals <clears throat> yeah those have seen better days i don't have a quarter so but it looks like he's at least this this is at least still being serviced. So it looks like it's been 90s mixed with modern, and I like that. I love that. Kind of a gift of the past and what's to come. I got a Route 21. I got a bunch of stores I've never heard of before. I'm really busy in here. Wow. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I love it. Skylights. Uh, go, those go in like a cone shape, like a square. Not necessarily a cone, but a. Kind of in a cone, like in a, in a symmetrical. I'm giving off another 90s vibe. Keeping that handrail. The handrails here. Just that 90s green, if you want to say it. An old Pepsi machine in there. It's from the early 80s. Early 80s, I would say the snack machine's the same. Escape room. I haven't seen a functioning escape room in a mall before. 
We got a few closed places, a few vacancies here and there. I mean, it's vacancy, vacancy. How are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing good. I just stumbled across this and I just stumbled across the place and I was like, you know, this this mall looks awesome from the outside. And so, how long has it been uh, Music City? Uh, about a year and a half now. A year and a half? A year and a half, almost two years. What was it before? Vista Ridge. Vista Ridge? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think I've, I think I've heard I think I've heard of that. Okay. I think I might have. I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, Vista Ridge was around for 20 some years. Okay. You know, and then, yeah, then Music City bought them out. So yeah, all of this is pretty much original, except for the, you know, a little bit here and there. Well, the, yeah, the mall itself is original, yeah, and then there's just, new stores, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, just a name change and that's it? Yeah, well, they're making it, they're doing a bunch of different things and fixing stuff up and everything. But yeah. Okay, yeah. I just, I just, I was just in the area and I was, uh, I had taken some pictures and did like a little drive around of uh, the closed down Joe's Crab Shack over there. Okay. And I came across this and I was like, Music City, that sounds like a totally 90s name. I know, right? And I was like, I gotta, I gotta see this for myself. And, oh, yes, please. Thank you so much. Well, you have a great day. Yeah, you too. Cheers, man. Sounds like they got live music going on. Do they? Yes, they do. They got live music going on. So they're doing like a golden ticket deal where you can win like a thousand dollar shopping spree. So this mall apparently it was bought out according to uh, according to the lady. I didn't want to show her face out of respect for her. I just but this mall is being revived as we speak. Um, yeah. Wow, look at that. This is what I've been telling people, is that you need to have a, empty spots like that in venue. Make them into a venue. I mean, look at the, look at the food court over there. I mean, yeah, there's still closures down there on the bottom. Up here, there's stuff. I mean, it's coming back. The small is coming back. No, never heard of it. Coat machine, typical. I mean, I'll do a little bit of the downstairs too. I would, but E6. down shop this is revitalization in the process here this looks like the I don't know what that is oh it's open it's at a just open at another spot huh. So this looks like the deadest part of the area. Um, yeah, little play area here. It was like the second or third one that I've come across. And I gotta get this fountain from overhead. Oh my god, look at that. So I think she said this was open about 27 years ago. I got a Zion market coming soon. It's like an Asian market. Hmm. Bringing... So this is going to be an anchor spot here. I'm hoping soon. Here. And this place is still closed. Bringing the freshness of California to you. Oh boy, oh boy. Don't tell me you're bringing the prices and all the other crap over here too. 
there's their other locations. I've never heard of this place before. And go figure, I mean, they were never, they were never in my area and I never went by one, so. I mean, this mall, I mean, is gorgeous. And, I mean, the, the name change, it was bought out. And this is a, a little museum, I guess. It was like a little museum spot or display. Oh, they only do private tours. That's cool. Still here though. A lot of screaming kids. I love the way the signs just hang up there like that. Another clothes store. The toolbox. A lot of these are not in our names that are a couple more closed down stores. I mean, I think this place is coming back. There's an old Corvette down there. Look at that. It's beautiful. 2003 50th anniversary edition. And it basically gives a description of the 50th anniversary Corvette and basically the history of the Corvette. That's cool. Why don't you stop blocking the microphone? <laughs> but that's cool. Sanctuary. Oh, they have like a little game room down there, I'm guessing. A couple of prize acts and prize vaults. Denim Plus, that looks like it was an Abercrombie and Fitch at one point. They got a little simulator. Ride. I mean, it looks like this place is making a good a turnaround for the better. They got a Cinemark um, in here somewhere. I think that's another closed down anchor that they're using as uh, advertising. They got a carousel that sounds like it's working. They got Corvettes all over this place. I mean, what? Like, it's crazy. And they got an ATM machine. Folks, if you've never seen revitalization, this is what revitalization looks like. This is what reviving a mall, reviving a dead mall looks like. From what I heard, this mall was in a pretty piss poor condition before. And then it was bought out and all they did was change the name and re-glorify everything that it was. And look at it. I mean, they just modernized the parts that needed to be modernized. That's all they did. There's no closing down signs. There's, I mean, there's closed down stores. This is like a little cycle beyond the bag. Is this like a little cafeteria? Code of Condor. Committed to excellence. What is that? Looks like a... Looks like kind of like a little lounge area. That's nice. California nails. Yeah. Got the Mason still here. goes on and on and on. A couple of vending machines there. Let's see what they have as a selection, huh? I like doing this. It's a thing of mine. This one has energy drinks, tea, Powerade, water, expensive energy drinks, and soda. What a healthy mix. Here's your selections at the snack vending machine. Oh, yeah, I, I recognize these guys. I'm surprised they would use an old machine like this. Those are nice.
So this is kind of like what their whole adventure club. I don't know what that is. I, I imagine it's like, oh, this is like where they're going to have the, um, the, the, that little venue that I was talking about. That's where they're going to have this kind of stuff. So if you're in the area, make sure you go watch it. I don't, I've never been to one, but. And then they're also going to have the center court stage, which we heard live music at earlier. I know these guys. I've, I'm good friends with that guy right there. John Gerke, awesome drum teacher. Led Zeppelin tribute, Journey tribute, Green Day tribute. I mean, they're having bands come in. They got art walls. I mean, that's cool. They're bringing it back. Sodas are a little bit on the expensive side. Not too shabby. I need to stop blocking the damn mic. I know. I said I was going to go downstairs. I will. They got a spot there just in case. Apparently this is this used to block it. That's crazy. Another little lounge area. Closed down store. There's a Macy's back there. Frenzy. It looks like it was a Bath and Body Works at one point. I could be wrong. Never know. Wow. And this is fandom framing. So they frame stuff for you. That's like. This is a comic store. Let's see. Mm -hmm. but down here is where they have all the Corvettes and stuff. Let's see. Let's see what this shit says. Hold on. That's crazy. I've never seen anything like this at a mall. This must have been like an addition or something. Something along those lines. Yep. <laughs> um, I may do a little bit of editing here and there. Ages admitted for the simulator ride. It's like a space simulator. It looks like it's please see section sanctuary for assistance. That's upstairs. I sell trade. There's a little game store that I was talking about. Look at that. That's wild. PlayStation, Xbox. We got VR stuff going on. This one doesn't work. It's probably small. It's a strip style. Let's see now. Wow. This is just we got Gumby up there. Five bucks a swipe and gives you seven game credits. Send us your winning picture for extra $25 cash. That's cool. So, I got some older stuff here, like GoPro Hero 5. We're actually going to. Is this $5 a phone? No, it's $1 cash, but. But yeah, you get bonus plays if you use your card. Alright, let's play this, huh? Okay, let's see, Apple AirPods, let's see, Special Edition Beats, go for the Beats, eh? 
Nope. Nope. Mashi, if you're watching this, this is what you should be doing, dude. <laughs> With the content. We got six plays left because five bucks, we got seven plays. I'm gonna try this GoPro Hero 5. I have the... I have a GoPro already. It's gonna be such a long video. <laughs> Oh, that's good, man. Yep, just barely. Just barely. There's a Pulse 3 speaker. That's kind of an old iPad. Oh, hold on. Security reasons. Okay, that's cool. Pinnacle Amusements, please call that number. I will. Let's say. PS4 and game. Rise includes console, control, and gamer. That's kind of cool. Oh, that would have been cool. Okay, so second row's not due. First row's not due. What if we go for this guy, though? That's a little bit low. A little bit low. I'm just going for the stuff on top because it looks old. I guess it's all fair game. Yeah, that skips. I let go of that and it just it just kept going up. We got two tries left. I want to go for those beats, just to sell them. Sell them to Anna. Anna can act, and then she can sell them at a yard sale. Oh, that's close. Kind of doing a combination of malls and... Let's go for these AirPods. We had fun. Right. Didn't win anything. But jungle rides, that's kind of cool. Put the kid around and. Little candy machine, uh, candy uh, carnival deal. Or Sweet Emotions, as that one is called. Nice Aerosmith and, uh, reference there. Lots of tales, a different way to tell a story. The Knights of Bethlehem. Nativity scene with effects, lights, and narration. A new way to tell a story. Huh. It looks like that's like a seasonal thing. Here's another Corvette. This one's a 50th anniversary edition, 2003. Good thing this is the C5 and not the C4. Because the C4 is, well, needless to say, boring. <laughs> so yeah, here's all the specs, kind of, history. I mean, that's cool. This one has like 8,000 miles. Right on the badge. 50th anniversary. That's cool. Look at this. Holy crap. There's another closed on spot used for um, World War II Museum ad. That's cool. An interview about mail call by CBS. Oh, that's cool. That's a statue. Yeah, the statue is called Mail Call. That's awesome. Army flag. You got the Navy flag, you got Texas flag. Um, can't really see much of the other ones. 
um, let me know in the comments uh, which flags these are and then of course in the back is the American flag I mean this place respects the military and the US in so many ways and it's so awesome just to see them all doing that there's another closed down spot Keep the camera away from the playground. So here's floor one of Zion Market. We were on floor two earlier. And here's another World War II uh, museum display area. Um, I think it's smart that they that they do that. And here's a Regis. Yeah, they're working in there. Open carry of handguns is prohibited. IQ 2020. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. I get it. But I'll leave that, that sound by the book um, of that worker at the Great American Cookie talking. The Victoria's Secret. This mall is so gorgeous. They got a little. The charming cat coin. Let's go say hi to a cat. There's more Corvettes down there. This place respects so many, uh, so much of the market. We got a cat here. I like fuzzy stuff. Yeah, there's cats. They go crazy. Yes, it's a live cat. It's probably telling me to get the hell away from him. I don't blame him. <clears throat> Down here is where they have the um, the 2005 Corvette. This is the C6. I don't even have to look at the paper to know that this is a C6. They had a C, I think that was a C3. That was a C3, one of the later C3s. But yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Here's the specs and the dimensions and the safety features. Everything that comes with this car and what including the options I've never seen that before. So yeah. Back in 2005 all that crap was an option. <laughs> I didn't know they had XM radio in 05 but well okay tell me in the comments if this must have been like an old I'm wrong I, I must have gotten that wrong uh, whenever I had said that that up there was Abercrombie and Fitch upstairs. This looks like an old Abercrombie and Fitch location. But if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. I'm gonna need a lot of your help. <laughs> I can't recognize some of these. I can't recognize that easily. He sounds so good. Let's see. Oh, what the woman? Me. Now hiring part-time and full-time. Yeah, a little stand here. That's cool. It's like a little bar. But it looks like they're not open anymore. And this is all... This is all, like, covered up. It's super weird. It's cool that... The Fast Track Studio... I don't know if that's still open or if that's closed. I mean, there's still stuff in there. It, mu it must be another music venue. It's cool though that they actually have music venues. And you see the mechanics. Look at the mechanics. Look at the 
of the mechanics of this. If you ever wanted to know how to how the escalator works, there you go. That's how it works, just like that. Massive bath and body works. Barking city. Dillard's is straight on that way. We keep going. Wait, there was a Corvette I missed. Before we go into Dillard's and get in trouble. <laughs> we forgot a wing. Great. Freaking excellent. Please keep off the stage. Oh, this guy's playing a harmonica. See? Music City. I mean, Music City Mall. Keep this up, and there's a fountain right, right around the stage. It's like a moat to keep off the piano. Yeah, but the cars, I don't understand the cars. I mean, it's cool. It's a frame off resto. This is a 67. This is the first one that came with a V8. Originally, they came with a V6. Sorry, no, this is the second one that came with a V8 done by Chip Foose. Foose wheels. That's bad. You know what would have been cooler? I gotta take some pictures. I gotta cut this real quick. Because this is just freaking amazing. This is just done so well. The exhaust pipe going to the side, going along the uh, side skirt. There's a side skirt going along it. Air, air filters, twin air filters. I mean, air induction, man. That's crazy. And this is what I, this is what they call a resto mod. So here's the specs of this one. Take a screenshot, take whatever you want. This is classic Americana in the form of a ball. That is so unbelievable. I mean, yes, they still have empty spots. They're making such an effort to revitalize this place that I would hate to see their efforts go south. I would hate to see it go south. Because this, this place is just freaking unbelievable. going to head to Dillard's. <laughs> I may or may not cut out certain parts, I don't know. Austin 5. JC Penny. They got a little lounge area with a football game going on. There's another closed down store. Makes it eerily quiet over here. Which sucks. Music City Mall in Louisville. Mini mini miners? What? Make sure I read that right. We got a little back to school picture. Uh, picture spot. That's kind of cool. This is kind of neat. It's closed. 
don't know what that is. Venture Sports HQ. <laughs> There's another one of those little candy deals. Orange vanilla cut. It's still good. Well, we found it expired. July. July. All the regular cakes are expired. July. How much is it though? Credit card deal is not working. Dollar seventy-five. A little bit on the expensive side. Perfume Galaxy. Toys and gifts. That's kind of like a temporary sign. It looks like it. We just have this stuff out here on display. It's wild. Watches on jewelry. Here we go. Before we get any farther, before we even look at the rest of these stores, the split window Corvette. Yes. They only did these in 1963. <clears throat> they didn't do them in 64. This is the split window Stingray. And it has the headlights popped up. But that's what it would look like in the middle of the day. And there you go. And yes, this is a C2. Now the C1, the C1 came with a V6. And so did C2, but with the C2, you could get a V8 for extra. And in 2009, to commemorate this car, they did a concept of a Stingray with the split window. But it never went through. There you go. During stage performances. Well, there was a stage performance going on. He wasn't serving crap. So, here's a, one of the little carnival rides, I guess. Like a little kitty ride. But, as you can tell, nobody's working over here. That usually tells me the boss is a little bit on the uh, prickly pear side, if you know what I mean. Family lounge. We got a couple of vending machines in here. <clears throat> we'll look to see if the vending machines are priced the same here. I got different things. I mean, the canteen, Chipotle Ranch. And it's new, so, I mean, we're newer, so. Yeah. Well, it's not too bad, I suppose. Let's see, how much is a, let's click on Coke Zero, $1.75. I kind of figured pricing is going to be consistent. I got the, the lemonade uh, Sprite. I've tried that and it's not, not that bad. It's not the greatest. What is that? Red cream soda? I've never seen that. I'm going to buy this actually. Hold on. My parents are gonna, be, they're gonna be calling me up, asking why the hell am I spending so much damn money? Hold on, I'll be. Trying to find my damn card. Found it. All right, cool. Let's get some Barks Red Cream Soda, huh? Please pay now. It's authorizing. Authorize it, damn it. Yeah, fuse. Hello, make a selection. Yes, I shall make a makes a selection, huh? Two, four. Oh crap. Red cream soda, folks. And look, it's not flat. Doesn't mean shit. Where's the expiration date on this? Dude. Hold up. I didn't see the expiration date. Oh, there we go. October 2019. 
photo moment. There we go. I'm doing like an hour of filming today, guys. <laughs> Let's try this out, huh? What's up? Oh my god. There we go. Got it. I think. It's hard to do this one handed. And I don't want to put the camera down. Look at how much pressure is built up. Holy crap. Okay. Red cream soda coming down the chute. It tastes like shit. <laughs> It tastes like shit. I'm gonna be brutally honest. So when they say it's red cream soda, it's not just food coloring. <laughs> you know those like big red sodas? Think about that and combine it with cream soda and that's what you've got. A shitty combination, <laughs> if you ask me. Holy crap. I didn't know these things existed. I need to find more of them because they taste that bad. Aftertaste is pretty, pretty good. So they got another closed anchor over there. I don't want to include a miner in the video. They got more vending upstairs. I didn't realize that. I mean, at least they have something to entertain people. These escalators do not work. Um, this place is closed. I mean... It's going to be a while before this mall uh, comes back to the way it once was. New York and Company, close out clearance, everything must go. Hmm. Oh, he says it's part of the store, though. There's another... This is probably the deadest part of the mall by far. And there you go. Let's see what they're fixing. How you doing, ma'am? I'm doing good. So, I had to stop off to charge my phone because it died while I was filming. So I don't know if all the footage got there, but I'm at the Music City Mall. Look at this. <laughs> oh my. I can't believe that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna finish up my tour and then I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce. Because to be quite honest, and I'm going to recycle because reduce, reuse, recycle, always well, a good idea. Anyways, I got a nursing lounge. That's the first. I've never actually seen that. All right, so we're going to wrap up here. So we got one little, one little spot to go, and I thank you guys for sticking around on this journey. And uh, if you're if you're a mall owner, I would say this is probably what you should do. Um, if your mall is on decline, this is what you need to do. This is a prime example of what you need to do. Keep the keep it looking the way it is. And this is, I mean, that's what they did here. I can, he can research. Or anything at a bridal store. Little star bikers. There's Dillard's. And there's a second story to it. We're not going to go in though. So, this is Lone Star Bikers. It's like bikes and whatnot. I imagine it's like a little lounge. Little set of bikers. State approved motor riders. Oh, it's rider training. Okay, that's cool. 
Okay, so that's gonna wrap it up for this tour of <clears throat> the Music City Mall in Louisville, Texas. Now, if you, if you of course enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. If you have any comments or see, if you have any comments or any <clears throat> any editorial type of uh, uh, comments, you know what I mean? Like, you know, if I missed missed something or if I if I messed up on what a store used to be, let me know in the comments. Um, yeah. And this video, I'm sorry that it's so long, but I thank you so much for sticking around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the hell out of here. So, <laughs> um, <clears throat> but if you're in the area, if you're in the area, make sure you visit this place because I mean, there's just so many, so much beauty to be seen. I mean, yeah, you can say that it's dated, and this used to, used to be a fountain, obviously. It's been drained, which is good. Because standing water is not a not a good sign. So if you, if you have a fountain you're not going to use, drain it. Well, anyways, um, like I said, if you guys are in the area, make sure you come by and check this mall out. I mean, it's just, let's see, oh, it just opens right up. It says activate switch to operate, but as you can tell, there is no switch on from the inside. Here's the exterior once again. And we are outside the mall. Amazing mall. Just absolutely spectacular. I'm glad that Music City, that the owners of Music City bought this place out and revived it. And I completely agree with the way they did it. And so does the community. The community has responded tremendously well to this mall. I'm glad that a marvel like this, that a that a gem of the 90s like this didn't just fade away like Collin Creek. I mean, this has the same I was kind of worried whenever I first came across the uh, parking structure because I thought well, this mall is uh and they got a maintenance team which is good they at least have the maintenance team which is great that's that's awesome maintaining whoops my bad my bad guys sorry just trying to get my car key out um <laughs> but yeah this mall is just fantastic